always get a lot of questions about, you know, if I have really dark skin, can I get hair removal done? Because I think there's a lot of misconceptions out there as to who can get it and, and is it safe. I assure you, we are able to do hair removal on the darkest, darkest, darkest skin type. And actually they do really well. We just adjust the settings based on what their skin type is and have great reduction just like everybody else. Completely safe, no issues whatsoever. So even with dark skin, you can get hair removal done. So nothing to worry about. Hi, I'm Dr. Ellerin and I'm here today to talk about laser hair removal and different skin types and what's good for each type of skin type. So there's actually six different types of skin types and it has a lot to do with more how your skin responds to the sun than necessarily its color. So for instance, like a type one would be like a very red head, um, very, very pale skin, um, the lightest, very few people are type one. Type two is probably more like myself where I can't really go outside, I get burned really easily never really get a tan, maybe slightly darker than I am if I ever get sun exposure. Three will be a little bit darker than I am, a little bit more likely to get a little color, still burning, but getting a little more tan. Um, four would be somebody who's like Mediterranean descent, will get a nice tan in the sun, may still burn if they were outside for a while, but they're more likely to get a tan. Five would be like a Halle Berry or some um, more, that kind of skin tone where it's a little darker. She really doesn't burn. She's more of a uh, just tan kind of person. And then six is anywhere darker than that where they just don't really need to worry about that stuff as much because they just darken in the sun. They don't burn at all. So that's kind of the different skin types. So when we're talking about what we can use on what skin types, we have to keep in mind how they respond to the sun. So we actually have a couple different hair removal lasers. And it depends on what your skin looks like and over what we use. For lighter skin patients, we will use something like an Alexandrite laser. What that does is it's a different wavelength of light. It's really only good for lighter skin because the problem is with darker skin patients, we either have to turn the settings down so low that they're not as effective, or we put them at risk of having pigment change in their skin. So that's what we would normally use on lighter skin. On darker skin patients, we can do hair removal on anyone that's from the, the lightest dark skin to the darkest dark skin. It's not an issue. When we're doing it, we do it more with a 1064 laser, a YAG laser, and a YAG laser. When we're doing it, we just choose settings that are appropriate for each skin type based on how much pigment is in the skin. One of the most important things about hair removal that people don't realize is you can't really be in the sun prior. You wanna have some time for your skin to calm down. So if you're recently in the sun, we usually tell you to wait a few weeks, about a month um, to let any you know, calming effect occur, any healing, because it has more to do with the inflammation from the sun than it does from the actual sun itself or the tan. So when we do it, we wanna make sure your skin's nice and calm and normal. And if you have a little bit of a tan, it's okay, but just let us know so we can adjust what we're doing because the pigment in your skin is not, it's not different from when it's picking up the pigment in the hair. So a lot of people ask, how does hair removal work? So hair removal works all the same depending on any of the lasers we're doing. The hair has pigment in it. The pigment is attracted to the laser and that heats the hair up down to the follicle and kills it. Okay, so the hairs have to be intact. They need to be actively growing. So different hairs have different growth cycles depending on the area of the body we're treating. For your face, your hair growth cycles are every four to six weeks. Your body, so like underarms, bikini line, six to eight weeks apart. Legs are even longer, eight, 10, maybe even slightly more. So we space the treatments out because we want those hairs to have a chance to have a new crop that's actively growing. So when we're doing it, we just space them appropriately and have a good chance of killing the hairs each time. We generally need around six to eight treatments to get a good reduction in the hair. There's always gonna be a few hairs left, but that's just the nature of how this all works and your body's always gonna have a few hairs left. Uh, otherwise, touch-ups as needed over time. Some people need some, some people never do, okay? So that's kind of the easy gist of hair removal. Um, risks, everyone always wants to know, you know, is this safe? Is there any problems with it? I say yes, people actually do very well, have very few issues whatsoever. Being out of the sun is probably the most important way to reduce your risk. Anything that generates heat obviously could give you a burn, but that would be an extremely rare sort of thing to happen. Um, anything that creates inflammation can give you dark marks, which is why we don't use an inappropriate laser and why we also wanna make sure you're protecting your skin and adjusting the settings based on 
how you're doing. Okay, so if you have any questions more, we can always talk during a consultation. And it was great talking today, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.